Margaret Bacher. I'm concertmaster of the Los Angeles Chamber Orchestra. I've been home due to the COVID-19 virus. Normally, I am in downtown Los Angeles almost all week and most weekends, rehearsing for concerts, playing concerts, and teaching. I am home these weeks trying to offer performances online and also learning to teach violin lessons online. I'm going to be recording some solo Bach tonight and it's a family affair because of the quarantine. Uh, no one could come to professionally record any of myself or any of my colleagues and my daughter here is helping. She's going to be doing the, the, vis the video and my husband will record the audio. This week, I'm uh, working to record a program for In Focus, which is our chamber music series. Our LACO audiences, who reached out to me in many different ways, are all very sad to not be going to our concerts. And so, like many other artistic organizations, we're trying to keep in touch with them and offer them some relief from the fear and the boredom and the unknown. Good evening, and welcome to an In Focus concert presented by LACO at Home. In these extraordinary times, these broadcasts are what give our musicians, and hopefully you, a lot of comfort. And I do hope that you enjoy this evening's presentation of In Focus from our home to yours. Offering performances online has its own set of challenges. It's different than performing live. I do miss the audience reaction and interaction of a live performance, but there is also something very intimate about being in your home studio and making music for strangers. It could be a hundred, it could be a thousand. This is where I sit and do most of my teaching now, which is odd to say, but with Skype lessons being the only possibility for me to be able to help my students, this is where I have to do it, is sitting at a computer. Is everybody doing okay? Yeah. 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 It's getting old, it's getting old I, isn't it? This isolation. Oh yeah. Getting a little yeah. depressing. I had a really great chamber group this year, but like we're not able to meet anymore and um, like end of the year recitals and things like that being canceled so it's yeah, really it's very, it's, very expected. it's very tough and my heart breaks for all of you but we have to do the best we can under these really difficult circumstances one of the hardest things for me to get used to during this quarantine is sitting here at this desk with a computer. It's so counterintuitive to being an artist and a musician. Albert. This is one of the Albert. Music is such a hands-on kind of experience for the student and the teacher. And it's difficult when the sound is coming through an electronic computer or iPad. It's not a realistic sound, but the students are hungry and they're feeling isolated. So their hour or two hours a week with me hopefully keeps them challenged and keeps them inspired to continue to grow as young musicians. Bravo. Bravo, Bella. Very, very fun. I can only think about what it's gonna be like the first time I get to walk back on the stage uh, in our new normal and uh, be able to make music again. What's gonna be when all of this ends? Will there still be the orchestras? Uh, can they financially survive? Will our economy be at a place where all of us can 
still do what we love to do, which is make music? Will people come to our concerts? Will they be too afraid to go into a, a hall where you have to sit shoulder to shoulder? Those are all big questions, and I think it's been tough. It's for everybody, not just me.